Bitcoin vs Ethereum Key Differences Between BTC and ETH Bitcoin and Ethereum are two of the most popular cryptocurrencies in the world, but they're not exactly the same. It's easy to get confused about which one is best for you because both have their strengths and weaknesses. For example, Bitcoin has a more secure blockchain than Ethereum, but it also costs more per transaction. On the other hand, ETH transactions are cheaper, but its blockchain can't handle as many transactions at once. This article will explore these differences so that you can make an informed decision about which cryptocurrency is right for you. Hi The Crypto Cell is an education organization that helps newcomers learn about cryptocurrency investing so they can invest and trade responsibly and safely with our expert advice on diversifying your portfolio buying low, selling high, and avoiding scams. Cryptocurrency is a digital currency that uses encryption techniques to control the creation of monetary units and to verify the transfer of funds. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin are all well-known examples of cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies use decentralized peer-to-peer -peer networks in order to operate with no central authority or banks managing transactions and issuing money are carried out collectively by the network. This decentralization makes it difficult for governments to control these virtual currencies. The first cryptocurrency was Bitcoin, which has been around since 2009, although not without controversy. Ethereum is another popular cryptocurrency that has only been around since 2015, but exploded onto the scene due to its smart contract features. So what's the difference between Bitcoin and Ethereum? Here are the key differences between the two. Bitcoin is a decentralized currency and payment network. Bitcoin is a digital cryptocurrency that uses blockchain technology to create and transfer Bitcoins. The network's decentralized nature means no single entity or government has control over it, which makes Bitcoin more secure than other currencies because there are no third parties involved in transactions between users, source. The first block of coins started being mined back in 2009 when Satoshi Nakamoto released his invention into the world. Nowadays, about 12 million Bitcoins have been created through various mining processes happening across cyberspace on computers around Earth. Ethereum is a decentralized platform for running smart contracts and applications. Ethereum is a platform for decentralized applications and smart contracts. In 2017, Ethereum's value grew by more than 2,000%. As it stands now in 2018, there are over 100 Kethers eth, worth of coins being traded on exchanges every day making this cryptocurrency an attractive investment opportunity that any investor should take advantage of before it's too late. Bitcoin has a limited supply of 21 million coins with the last coin expected to be mined in 2140, while there's an unlimited supply of ETH tokens. Bitcoin and Ethereum have an unlimited supply of tokens, with Bitcoin having a significantly smaller token than its ETH counterpart. This means that while there are only 21 million Bitcoins in existence so far and no more will be mined, the total number for Ethereum can grow as high at 1 trillion by 2040. Bitcoin requires more energy to mine than Ethereum because it's less efficient. Bitcoin may be the more popular cryptocurrency, but that doesn't mean it has a leg up on efficiency. Ethereum's mining process uses less electricity than Bitcoin does to extract new coins and create solutions for math problems in order to generate crypto tokens that can later get traded internationally or used within applications built upon its network, all while requiring smaller initial investments too. Bitcoin transactions are verified by miners who maintain the blockchain, while Ethereum relies on its users to do that. Miners verify transactions in Bitcoin and Ethereum, but the process is different. 
In Bitcoin's case, every transaction must be verified by at least 6 out of 12 miners before being recorded on a block that becomes part of its blockchain for future generations to see this means if any one miner gets corrupted or dishonest, then things like fraud could occur since there would never get corrected until everyone else realized what happened. In contrast with cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, where confirmation comes from multiple parties known collectively as nodes spread across, Bitcoin and Ethereum are both cryptocurrencies, but they have a few key differences. Bitcoin has been around since 2009 while ETH is only four years old. BTC is more secure due to its decentralized nature, whereas the transactions in Ethereum rely on their users for security, although it's cheaper per transaction. However, there are unlimited supply of tokens with Bitcoin and 21 million Bitcoins already mined. This contrasts with ETH, where the number of coins will grow up to 1 trillion by 2040. Most importantly, mining BTC requires more energy than Ethereum does, which makes sense given that Bitcoin was released earlier and therefore had time to develop into what we know today. The bottom line, if you want an efficient cryptocurrency without worrying about electricity costs or third parties controlling your funds, then ETH might. If you're interested in learning more about how to invest in Bitcoin so it can be part of your diversified portfolio, then consider reading our free crypto investing ebook, which will teach you everything from A to Z, no pun intended. This next video is going to be really cool and you should subscribe to my channel while it's still free. I think you can learn a lot from our experts and it would make me happy to have you as a part of my subscriber family. Feel free to share this with anyone you think might also enjoy it.